the contact is pulled in, the disconnect is pulled, and he said the fan didn't run? That's not what I saw. It definitely ran that I saw, but maybe it stalls out and that's why it freezes. That's a possibility. We'll find out more as time goes on. Go check. So maybe the fan capacitor was the problem the whole time. The startup of the compressor was a lot smoother. That is something I never expected, but could the fan quit right in the middle of it running is my question. I guess it could, and the outdoor fan stalled. Um, I had a temp gun. Oh, okay. Last reading was 74. Out of the vent? Yeah. All right, well, let's see. We'll come up, we'll leave the video rolling. 80 degrees. Let me see. Oh, you got to read it close. Whoop, got it. Okay. Ah, 68. Turn 81, so not quite there yet. So the refrigerant charge was spot on. That's that's, a, that's what you the want. line in the back was sweating. Yep. I think the fan was definitely running smoother just now, so maybe that was really the whole thing. That's what it was. I hope so. What if it's not? No, it's if if it's not, you give us a call back. We come back and we take care of it. But this is this is 100%. I'm almost I can almost guarantee you. Right. My question, though, is like, what could it be if it's not? Well, the fan, the fan wasn't turning on. So, being that I replaced the capacitor, now the fan. Turns right. On. Now it That's, runs. Yeah. yeah, I get that. So perhaps my uh, diagnosis was incorrect. That certainly is possible. If tell me, people, could the fan just stall out in the middle of running? The times that I came out, it was definitely running, but I think the fan is running smoother than it did. The compressor starts up better than it did, that's for sure. What do you think? Because I'd hate for this to run and run and run and then freeze up again. It could, if this stalled, it would freeze up. There's no question on that, because we can't get the heat out of this. But then I would think that this unit would be boiling hot, and the day I came home, and it was 81 upstairs, it wasn't that hot. Let's see what the 
half ton breeds, 120 ish, 125 ish, something. Sorry about the construction noise, nothing I can do about that. So, um, I buy it, but at the same time, I'm skeptical. I got two new screws because he lost the old ones, but that was nice. I just want to know, could this not run in the middle of running? Now one thing that was interesting that I didn't capture on camera before is the blades were one blade here, one blade here when it was last shut off and I happen to remember the position. So then he asked, can you turn the unit on? We turned it on and it started, but he said the fan didn't run. And when I looked at it, them blades were indeed in the same spot they were. So could that have been a sign of a failing capacitor all along? That's certainly a possibility. Time will tell, of course, to see if this can cool down and not freeze up. Like I said, if this fan stalled, oh yeah, it would freeze. There's no question on that. He said the refrigerant is right on par. I don't know if you caught any of that in the gauges, if anybody knows more than I do with that and can tell me. Um, one other thing, the pipe here is sweating. Oh, it's icy cold now. I gotta put a cable tie around that. But it is icy cold now. It was not that cold when I checked it. And yes, the fan was running at that time. If it wasn't running, I would have known right off. And obviously I could have done the job myself. But wouldn't that be the shit if this really is the whole problem? Because that means capacitor replaced in here, capacitor replaced in the garage AC, and both capacitors in the pool pump. Guess who's next? Yep. Might have to do that as a preventative measure. Might not be a bad idea. Definitely might not be a bad idea. So the price, I guess I'll tell you there's no harm in that. Uh, yeah, I got raped. I knew that was coming. $89 service call, okay. Capacitor replacement, 185. The 275 total, not the end of the world. If that indeed fixes it, then hey, chalk one up to something that he's seen before that I haven't. If it could indeed stall out in the middle, and I expect that it probably could, then that would indeed explain the entire scenario. The reading 120-ish, 121. Let's go upstairs, see what we're getting. The return is reading 75 now. That's down from 80. And the vent, now the vents in here are not the, not the coldest for some reason. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, 59, 60, when that runs for longer yet, we should get even colder than that. Let's go check in the other room. Yeah, 57, so that's a couple degrees cooler, which is about right from what I've seen. So it's like 10 minutes later, look at that, 51, never was that good. And the other room is like 52. So perhaps that outdoor fan really was not running at full chooch and that will strangle the system and definitely cause it to freeze up. Maybe the guy actually knew what the hell he was talking about. But daddy, I liked it when it was warm. I liked when it was warm up here. Why are you making it cold? It's cold now, daddy. What? Are you purring? So remember the video I had on replacing the multi-port valve on the pool? Link in prescription. Guy's gonna show up, get the plumb of butt crack going on, maybe have a smoke, 
and he'll chat with you as he's doing the work. That's exactly what this guy did. But hey, listen, if he actually knew what he was talking about and things are definitely adding up in the story, I'm not convinced, obviously, because we got to wait, let this cool down to temp. It's, wait right there, 77. It was 80 before we kicked it on, three degrees already. Mm, yeah, I like that. That's good. So maybe, um, you know, I never profess to be uh, an expert on this. Perhaps, indeed, my diagnosis was incorrect. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out in time. But I think that is going to wrap this up for now. If it does freeze up, you can be damn sure <laughs> there's going to be another video. And then we're going to have to call the dick back, and now he's going to have be smoking two cigarettes at the same time with his pants already out around his ankle. Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to be that way so I can get raped. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so it's on. It's running. Uh, temp out at events. I just read, I just shot 48 degrees. 55 was the coldest I got before this went down. Maybe he really knew what he was talking about. We'll find out in time. Again, if any more updates, I will indeed let you know. Thank you so much for watching this emergency series on that. And um, again, if there's any updates, I'll let you know. Otherwise, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. Won't be needing that anymore. Bye-bye.